mining giant Adani says there is nothing untoward about reimbursing a Queensland council for employing additional staff to oversee its Carmichael coal mine. Adani will repay costs incurred by the Isaac Regional Council to hire four extra staff to handle administrative and operational work stemming from the mine's development, including road access and maintenance. Any payments as agreed between, the Council, and Adani are a condition of Queensland Government approval of the project, an Adani spokeswoman said. Queensland local government legislation clearly states that councils may follow user pays principles to recover costs. But Transparency International Chief Executive Serena Lily White flagged the agreement as a potential conflict of interest. At best there is a perception that the company is just too close to the local government with regard to decisions being made, Ms Lily White told the ABC. When you have a situation whereby people who are employed by the council but are in fact being paid for by Adani to undertake responsibilities and tasks, it does create some real concerns. However, Isaac Mayor Ann Baker said the agreement ensured big business paid its fair share and ratepayers did not foot the bill for costs incurred as a result of a project's development. Developers are conditioned by the state to provide support through such agreements, she said. The additional staff would be hired through standard recruitment processes and paid in accordance with council employment conditions, Ms Baker said. Adani has no input into this, council is simply reimbursed for these staff costs, she added. Keensland Resources Council Chief Executive Ian McFarlane said he was advised Adani was acting in compliance with conditions of the mine's approval. All resource companies pay rates and develop infrastructure agreements with their local government to mitigate the costs of impacts, he said. Local Government Minister Sterling Hinchliffe said internal employment arrangements were a matter.